Hey science lovers, I'm Rowan. Becky is my mom, and I'm here to show you one of my favorite reared hobbies, which is collecting bones and cleaning them. This is a bag of bones that I found while I was just walking along the highway. This is a lot fresher than the bones that I normally find. It's still covered in all of the fur, the muscles, the tendon, so I'm going to put it in the ground and let nature do the work. And we're gonna leave them in the ground for a few seasons so that they will be nice and clean and ready to be sterilized. So I've laid out these bones in kind of what would be the general process of going from very freshly killed to what we would want to have as a nice clean bone. This is the box of our very, very fresh bones. These are the ones that were naturally dried up and laying on top of the ground. This is a box of dug up bones. This is the box after I've cleaned it with water, and this is what it would look like after it's been sun bleached. So we're gonna start and put these in the ground. I'm gonna break this in half because it is way too large to fit in my little bucket here. Just like that. <laughs> now, gotta be really careful because these are sharp. Ah, perfect. I'm just gonna place this in here. Thank you, Jimmy, for digging me a hole. And we'll just cover it back up and we'll let nature do its work. I'm putting a marker here so that we can find this again later after a couple seasons when the leaves have all come over it. There's been snow, there's been rain. It'll be really difficult to find this exact location. So this just makes it a little easier on me later. So for my hobby, I like to take these bones and what I will do is I will scrub them, get all the rest of the remaining dirt off, and then I will take tub and fill them with a mixture of half hydrogen peroxide and half water. And then you let it sit out in the sun, you put a lid on top of it, and you let that mixture sit for maybe about a week or two weeks, and you check on it every couple days to make sure as the hydrogen peroxide will begin to sterilize the bone and clean it. They'll start to become lighter and whiter. You don't want to leave the bones in that mixture for too long because they will start to become more fragile as the material in the bone starts to break down from the hydrogen peroxide. They'll get too brittle and start to break. Wow, science is so amazing. I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.